Uh, yeah, I'm going to read, I guess, like the first beginning. I was going to start in the middle, but I'm just going to start at the beginning. Uh, is this helping at all? Yeah. Okay. Um, whenever anyone asks me what this book is about, I, I would usually say titties. Because um, I don't like to say. But when I was really drunk at, in Atlanta, at the book release that we had there, I said it was uh, me inside my grandmother right before she died. Um, when she was hallucinating that a woman lived in her attic and was telling her to leave. <laughs> And there was a house next door where men were stealing all of her antiques. She also owned the house next door. So that's probably a better answer than Teddy. Uh, this is, I'm going to read until I say the word shit. So listen for shit. <clears throat> From in the light, I touched the light. I knew the light grew mold inside me. Or, or what? I could not think. I could not find the wall. In the long, small straight of where I'd been, I could look back and see some lurking. Yet in the light, I'd pause for hours and hear no other inhale, no clicky clack. In the light, my skin was see-through, my veins an atlas spanned in tissue. I'd never been much for direction. The wind would wind my hair. I once got lost in my own district and had to beat my head on unmarked doors. Most of the homes remained undaunted, silent. The one man answered in his flesh. Bright white and ripped with rashing, I tried to understand. I tried to move among the light forgiven. I kept low, crouched in case of flux, i.e. Slip, slips or divots in the foundation, or even on my own part, dizzy, dumb. I walked and walked and walked, and light continued farther on. When I could not walk, I settled briefly, bargained. I let my head against the tile, in certain spots, I heard a humming. Some low, slow strum sunk through the floor. At times, it mimicked mother's tumor babble. Nights I'd wake inside the house, inside her howl, or humping hard against a bare wall, leaving wet imprints on the plaster. The way her eyes went curtained, glassy as she spoke by scratching in my hand. In that light, there, where, I felt her underneath me, goner growing on. For certain lengths I crawled, no rube to the position. For certain lengths I simply suggested myself forward. I felt the tremor of small bees. I kissed the ground in want of. When I could not crawl or want or other, I crooked my arms and hid my head in what remained of me. Behind my eyes the light went on. <laughs>